Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how you can manipulate time in this awesome game engine. First of all, please consider subscribing and leaving a like, that really helps out my channel, there are a bunch of other ways how you can support me, but these two are more than enough. Now, manipulating time in Unreal Engine is actually insanely easy and it includes only a single node that you can activate or deactivate which actually impacts the time in the game level. First of all let me show you normal time how it looks like in this game level. I have my first person shooter template. I have my gravity set on 05 so I make longer jumps to easily demonstrate the changing of the passage of time in the game once I get it up. But as you can see this is normal time how it actually goes in the level and how it changes. Now we want to manipulate that by opening the level blueprint and finding a node which is called set global time dilation. Here it is. And this is a really simple node which we're going to activate with a key which allows you to change time, value to set global time. Right now it's simply here, but we need to actually activate it through a key. I'm going to use key R, here it is. But I'm also going to use a flip-flop node, which will allow me to turn it on and turn it off into different environments. I want to have one time that is actually normal time, quote unquote, and the other one which will be first slow down and then sped up. So when pressed, I'm going to take out the flip-flop node. It simply switches between two alternatives whenever a key is pressed. First one will go here, the second one I'm going to copy this and place it here. It's going to go into B. So we are going to set normal time at 1. And we're going to set this slow down time or slow motion to 0. 0.3. Now whenever I press the R button it's going to switch from normal time, 0, no time dilation, to time dilation of 0.3, 70% slower than in normal circumstances, if I'm calculating right, hopefully I am. So let's see it in the game. I'm in the level, I'm jumping, moving, and when I press the R button, things slow down. When I press it again, things speed up. So maybe the best way to see it is in a state of jump. Let me jump onto this platform, which is something I'm not able to do for some reason. And here it is. And I'm going to turn it on and jump. And as you can see, I'm slowly floating through there. Things are slowing down. This is something that you could use I'm going to turn it off as a bullet time option or something in a similar manner in first person shooter or third person shooter. It's a well known kind of gameplay feature. And all that it requires is these time dilation nodes. Now let's try it as a sped off of time. I'm going to set time dilation to 3. It was 0 0.3, now it's 3. And let's see how does that look like in the game. I'm back in the level, I'm moving normally and I'm pressing R and I'm speeding up and then I'm pressing it back again, I'm slowing down. So here it is sped up. My jump looks uh, shorter but actually it's just faster. But when I turn it back on it's back to normal. The same goes for shooting. As you can see, the balls that I shoot are moving a lot faster. So time is padding up three times as fast as it normally does through this node. So there you have it. It's a really simple, really easy way of manipulating time. It doesn't provide a whole lot of options that you can use in more complex environments. You would need a lot more nodes for that in different kinds of scenarios. But in the simplest, easiest form, this it ha is how it's done, this is how it's, it looks like. So you use the set global time dilation and simply add quants that activate it or deactivate it regardless or regarding 
the thing you want to have in your game. That's all for this really short Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Hopefully you found it useful, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, again, please subscribe to my channel, watch my other beginner tutorial videos. They are really simple and easy. They're designed to help people just like you and me who are basically really on a beginner level when it comes to Unreal Engine. But through these simple tutorials, simple videos I want to do for you what I'm trying to do for myself, which is to gradually get some basic but stable understanding of Unreal Engine that can be then upgraded to more and more advanced stuff. But this is not advanced stuff, this is really simple stuff, yet again it still works and this is how. Thank you so much for watching this video, my name is Ivica, please again consider subscribing, leaving a like, leave any questions if you might have them and have a great day. Until my next video, have also loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Till that next video, bye bye.